Back in four, three. Good evening and welcome everyone and thank you so much for joining us. My name is Deborah Gedlin and I am the President and CEO of the Calgary Chamber of Commerce and I'll be moderating this evening's debate with my co-host Dallas Flexhog with Global News. First, in the spirit of respect, collaboration and truth, I would like to begin by honouring and acknowledging that today's event takes place on the traditional territories of the people of the Treaty 7 region in southern Alberta. Calgary and Alberta are also home to Métis Nation of Alberta Region 3. We are grateful to work and live upon this territory together and we value our collective sense of belonging and deep history. We honour the Indigenous people and nations that have stewarded and cared for this land for generations. Tonight we're proud to bring you a debate with five leading candidates running for mayor in Calgary's upcoming municipal election. Mayoral candidates will be addressing questions from Calgary's business community, real citizens who are entrepreneurs, leaders and business owners. We will hear what the candidates' priorities are for Calgary's most pressing business challenges to give our audience and viewers the opportunity to understand their positions. We're proud to partner with Global News Calgary to bring this debate to Calgarians on television, radio and streaming online. I'd like to welcome and introduce my co-moderator for this evening's discussion, Dallas, Dallas Flexhog, anchor for Global News Morning Calgary. Ms. Flexhog is a born and raised Calgarian who has been bringing the news to Calgary since 2007 as an anchor, reporter and producer. You'll hear more from her with some opening remarks in just a moment. An important part of the Chamber's purpose is to connect our business community to civic leaders, helping businesses succeed by being at the table for critical decisions about the future of our city. Business owners and leaders are the reason why the Chamber exists, to, ma to help make your businesses more successful, a job we've been doing for 130 years. This event is being broadcasted and streamed and we encourage our audience to also engage with us on social channels. Join in this evening's discussion on Twitter. Our handle is at Calgary Chamber and also follow along at Global Calgary. Use the hashtag, hashtag Pathways to Potential. This event is about economic recovery and long-term prosperity for our city. It is also about hearing about how our next mayor will not only help business, businesses survive this pandemic, but also what comes next and how we achieve our economic potential as a city. There are many pathways to get there, and tonight we will hear from candidates to learn about what their road ahead looks like. Our entire economic landscape has changed since the last civic election. And while the issues of property taxes, high vacancy rates in our core, and creating a vibrant, connected city are not new, the pandemic has intensified the challenges, making it even harder for businesses to succeed. But we are a city of doers, and in the midst of the most challenging circumstances, Calgary businesses have found ways to innovate, create, pivot, and keep going. They are listening tonight to learn more about what each candidate will do to help their businesses reach their potential. The Calgary Chamber, representing our city's business community, has developed a platform called Pathways to Potential. We want you, as voters, to be aware of the issues and tonight hear from candidates specifically on what they're proposed, on their proposed solutions. Because the issues are not what will move us forward. Solutions will. We know strong businesses help build strong communities. So we're here today to talk about the big picture of our city and how each candidate plans to get us to where we need to go. Now, without further delay, I will hand it over to my co-moderator to share the details of how this evening's debate will go. Ms. Flexhog, over to you. Thank you for that, Deborah. Uh, good evening. Good evening to you candidates. Good evening to you uh, viewers at home. Uh, thank you for joining us tonight. We do certainly appreciate our viewers and listeners tuning in virtually. And of course, to the candidates who have agreed to be here following all safety protocols that do allow them to come together to safely share their perspectives. As an added layer of safety, proof of vaccination or recent negative test result have also been verified for each person in this room, all of the in-person participants. So let's begin with a few rules of the debate. As determined by recent polling, we have invited the top five mayoral candidates to participate in tonight's debate. This debate is going to be focused on five questions on the following topics. Talent in Calgary, property tax, Calgary's downtown, inclusive growth and equal economic opportunity, and making this city a great place to do business. Questions have been pre-recorded. They are going to be coming from Calgary business owners and leaders. We are going to play them 
And then we are going to give the candidates 60 seconds to each respond to each question in a pre-selected rotating order that is going to vary for each question. Candidates will have a view of the countdown clock, which is right there. It's nice and big. Uh, it is going to be reset at the beginning of each response. There is going to be no opportunity for a rebuttal in this debate. As moderators, Deborah and I, we may prompt a candidate for more details. We may ask a follow-up question. We may just move along with the discussion if we feel all of the topics are covered and discussed sufficiently. I do, uh, we do want to send a reminder uh, to all of you that this is a professional debate on the topics of interest to the Calgary business community. We do encourage you candidates to get candid with your answers, uh, answer them with conviction, but just a reminder that uh, speaking over each other, combative behavior, that is not going to be tolerated tonight. I met Deborah, and she will keep us all on track. <laughs> so we are going to begin tonight by giving the candidates an opportunity to introduce themselves with 45 seconds to provide some opening remarks. Ms. Damery, we are going to be starting with you. That is going to be followed by Mr. Davison, Mr. Farkas, Mr. Field, and then finally, Ms. Gondek. So, Ms. Damery, I'll turn it over to you. Hello, I'm Jan Damery. I'm an economist. I'm a leader, I'm a doer. I've been talking to women, and we need to feel more safe in our city. If we do this, it's great for all of us. I've been talking to business owners, and they need to have stable taxes and less regulation to recover. I've been talking to newcomers, and they need to settle quicker and connect into jobs, affordable housing, and transit. I've been talking to our kids, and they need jobs, they need action on climate change, and they need cool things to do in Calgary. What we do need is leadership. What we do need is more doing. What we don't need is a politician in the mayor's seat. Thank you, Ms. Deanery. Mr. Davison, we'll go to you. Well, thank you. Well, like a TV courtroom drama, it's, uh, I'm here to present my case to be your next mayor. Past behavior is the best indicator of future behavior, and tonight I'll talk a lot about what I've already done for Calgary and what I plan to do over the next four years as mayor. And I'll critique my opponents, not because they're bad people, um, but because they don't have the track record and they don't get Calgary. You know, my opponents really want you to believe this is a two-horse race, uh, a choice between the extreme right or the extreme left, but that isn't the way most of us think about Calgary. It's time to choose a mayor that represents your priorities like attracting investment, creating jobs, keeping taxes low, and working together to build a city where our kids want to be. My name is Jeff Davison, and I'm asking to be your next Mayor of Calgary. Thank you, Mr. Davison. Mr. Farkas, I'll turn it over to you. My name is Jeremy Farkas, and I'm asking for your vote today to bring about real change. This election is about change versus more of the same. Councillor Gondek will sit here and say that she is for business, but her entire record has been against business. On June 10th, 2019, business leaders marched in a property tax revolt on the steps of City Hall. I came out, I showed my face, I listened to you, and I spoke with you. Councillor Gondek didn't. I even had to make a motion to attempt to allow the business community to speak to City Council that day. Councillor Gondek voted against that motion. Every step of the way, I've had a proven track record, acting on my convictions, speaking up not just when it's been easy to do so, but when it's been hard to do so. I have the plan, track record, and experience to get it done. I'm Jeremy Farkas, and I'm asking for your vote to bring about real change. Thank you, Mr. Farkas. Mr. Field, I'll turn it to you. Hi, I'm Brad Field, and I'm looking to be the next mayor of the city of Calgary. I am pretty sure that I'm the only member of the Chamber of Commerce uh, sitting up on this stage, and I'm pretty sure I'm the only business owner in the, on this stage right now that has actually created jobs and paid property taxes, both commercially and residentially. I'm here for the super, uh, city of Calgary because I think we have a wonderful opportunity to build something special, something we can all be proud of. But we have to have a conversation about leadership. I am that strong collaborative leader that wants to bring people together and have a meaningful discussion about how we can make Calgary a better place. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Field. Uh, finally, Ms. Gondek. Hi, my name is Jyoti Gondek, and like all of you, I understand that our young city is facing a socioeconomic challenge unlike anything we've ever seen before. We can continue to attract investment, we can welcome and retain talent, and we can reestablish our economic advantage. We'll need to be intentional to do so. We will need to declare that we are a center of excellence for a transitioning economy, that we are welcoming people who want to use innovation 
and technology to bring about more sustainable, greener and cleaner solutions that we can apply across all of our sectors. I have the experience, the character and the will to lead us forward. Thank you. Thank you to all the candidates for, those, for your opening remarks. We appreciate your positioning. And now it's time to begin with the first of our five questions. Remember, you have one minute each to respond. So first, let's talk talent. Opportunity draws talent. And at the Chamber, we envision a vibrant Calgary yes. that develops, retains, and attracts talent from all walks of life, enabling our city and our people to have the skills needed to thrive in the economy of today and tomorrow. Recent data shows one key demographic is shrinking, and that is among young adults aged 20 to 24. The latest reports show young people in particular are leaving Alberta than coming here. With these challenges in mind, we share a question from a member of our business community. Hi, I'm Scott Smith, Chief Operating Officer at Viewpoint Investment Partners. Talent is critical to the future of our economy, and in a survey of Calgary businesses earlier this year, 80% of them indicated that attracting talented young people was among their top concerns. If elected mayor, what will you do to attract, retain, and invest in talent to ensure our young people stay here and businesses like mine have access to bright minds and diversified skill sets? Thanks, Scott, for your question. Let's start with Mr. Farkas. You have 60 seconds, and then we will go to Ms. Gondek, Ms. Damery, Mr. Davidson, and Mr. Field. We need, to, in order to keep our people, we need Calgary to be affordable and to be safe. Every step of the way, I've opposed needless spending and budget increases that have driven our local small business owners out of business. I'm the only city councillor here who actually voted against defunding the police. And I think that lack of essential services like safety and security has really impacted our ability to stay competitive. Calgary is now the only major North American city without a downtown police station. And that station was closed at the same time as the drug site opened. This is completely at odds with uh, the stated aims of being attractive uh, to be able to start a family. Another thing that I'll advocate for is a reversal of the policy on the community guidebook. I believe that we need choice in housing, affordable single family homes within a reasonable commute to work. This is absolutely essential. Next, we need to make sure that Calgary remains one of the best places to be able to start a business, to be able to succeed. And that's why I'm advocating for a four year property tax freeze, to be able to give both residents and businesses the certainty that they need to be able to get back on their feet and continue to attract them to come to Calgary. Ms. Gondek. Thank you. In speaking with many of our small businesses and local companies and young people who are considering whether or not to stay in Calgary, they're all saying the same thing, that we need to have a city that offers meaningful employment and a great place to live. When you speak with people, particularly in the tech sector, they're saying that they're already providing incubator and accelerator opportunities. They're employing young professionals and training them to be senior leaders. They are taking on important challenges like becoming a center for energy transition. We have a carbon removal accelerator already in our city. And that's the kind of work that young professionals want to do. Something that makes them feel like they're part of meaningful change. And we need to offer them a city where they can have amenities close by to where they're working. We need to invest in things like public transit. All of those things make this city a great place to stay. Thank you, Ms. Gondek. Ms. Damery. We have 2,000 vacancies that we can't fill with digital and STEM expertise. My idea that I am sharing with everyone is we need to make downtown a vital core that actually is scaling campuses that exist with our post-secondaries, that we can graduate thousands of graduates in these fields that can actually feed the pipeline that also invests in and helps scale our local businesses. It also makes downtown this vibrant place where we've got thousands and thousands of students living and working and playing downtown. We need to bring the cool back to Calgary, and it's about investing in our infrastructure. It's making sure that you can also live downtown without using a car. This happens to help our carbon footprint. So it's actually about talent as well as place. And how do we bring that together, that this becomes a place that we want to actually thrive and enjoy and attracts people. Our kids are telling us there's nothing to do in this city. And if we can get them to be living downtown, this is the solution. Thank you, Ms. Damery. Mr. Davidson. 
Well, you know, first of all, if we're going to be successful, we've got to get out from under this cloud of negativity that some up here have actually created in Calgary. We need to get excited about Calgary and our future again. You know, the other day, the CEO of Arts Commons, uh, Alex Arian, put it into great perspective for me when he said, you know, my wife and I moved from New York City, and we spend so much of our time here in Calgary talking to people about how